there are two types of reaction in the body of organisms. It's what they call anabolic reaction and there's a catabolic reaction. Now, anabolic reactions are those that do not produce heat as byproduct, while catabolic reactions are those that produce heat as byproduct. Both reactions put together produce what is known as metabolism. Now, metabolism is like the sum total of both reactions in the body of organisms. Do you understand? Or do you have a question? Sorry for digressing, Iron. David, do you know that Too Faced has released a new album? This is even better than the former one, and this is everywhere in the market. It's the top selling CD on the market now. Listen to it. For God's sake, Annabelle, these are second term examinations, and someone is here to help us with our studies. Don't you ever have a break? Ha! Huh? We've been studying for the past two hours, now me, I'm tired though. Even if you have a break, it should be spent discussing what you've learned so far, not exchanging such gossip. How dare you? How dare you call me a gossip? Huh? Stop it, Annabelle. He did not call you a gossip. Mm. So it is not the both of you, eh? Ganging up against me. Well, I don't blame any of you. It is myself I blame for sitting down here and less than a cake person like you to teach me. Annabelle, that's an insult. Uh -huh. What would you do? You are such a fool, Annabelle. You are! David. David, look, the fact that we are twins doesn't mean that we are mates, okay? I came out before you, that means I'm your senior. And so is I way. Fool. Stop it. For Christ's sake, mom and dad are having their siesta in the room. And you're here making noise. David, sit down. Let's continue. David. Annabelle, that's enough. Sit down. Me, I'm leaving. I'm tired of learning. Uh -uh. If daddy wanted me to pass my exams, why didn't he enroll me in, in, in a, a, a class? He's teaching me, I'm insulting me. That's enough. Um, let's, let's, let's continue. Where, where did we stop? We're talking about body organisms. David. Open your book. Yes, um, as well. God have mercy. Annabelle! Daddy, um, I'm sorry. Annabelle, those who are quick to do wrong and apologize often end up with no one but tears and regrets for company in their life. Chief, I, I reject that for my daughter. Then teach her the virtues she needs to avoid it. She is Killing her future and you are helping her. But Chief, there are so many ways you can correct her and you know it. No, I do not know. I gave her lots of gifts to bring out the best in her. It failed. Petting failed. Gifts failed. I don't know what else to do to, 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 to encourage her. Love her. I love her. That is why this carefree attitude of hers bothers me. You saw Irene and David studying in the sitting room. It's about midnight now and tomorrow her exam starts. Chief, if you say you love her, then show it. You. God knows I did not keep quiet when you were laying the foundation of this. God knows. Good night. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. Don't put this thing on again. Read.
That's my game. Look at it. What game? What game? Does that does that make any sense to you? What? Check the dictionary. Does it make any sense to you? That's my game. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why we have a dictionary now. What's the word? Spell it. I e o t e a. What? What did you say? I e o t e a. Wait, are you kidding me, David? That is it. Okay, just for the record, I will check. But trust me, <laughs> there is no such word. I e o e e a. It does not exist. But what I just. <laughs> Uh, what is it? A postman bought the letter for you. Okay, thank you. Go. Hold on, no. Nobody should cheat. You, you like to cheat. Wait now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm dreaming, right? What? I made it! What is it, Irene? No! God, I made it! What? I oh, made it! Jesus, thank you! I have been awarded a scholarship to study on the Commonwealth in Canada! What? Wow! wow. Daddy will be so proud of you! Let me see! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. And they're going to come for the written interview very I'm soon! I'm so, I'm so happy for you! Thank you! Oh. Congratulations! Thank you! You know, Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Uh, Oliver, put the bag down here. Hi, Daddy. You're oh, welcome. There you are, my dear. <laughs> Guess what? What, Dad? I went into town today and I did some shopping for my angel. Wow. That is for making me so proud of you in your exams. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Take a look. Okay. Wow. Look at this beautiful dress. Oh, my God. Let me take a look at this. <laughs> Such expensive jewelry for a girl of her age? Chief! My dear, if they had diamond, I, I, I would have bought it. She deserves the best. Oh, mommy, am I not the luckiest girl on earth to have such an adorable man for a daddy? Am I not? <laughs> Thank you, daddy. Mm. Oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Sis! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I can't wait to tell Annabelle this. I'm going to say to her. Thank you. Thank you. bought the dress and the jewelry for you? Irene gave them to me. And you're rejoicing? You're a fool. A big fool! Your father spent over 300,000 naira shopping for your stepsister. And he did not buy anything for his own biological child. And you're here rejoicing over the little she gave to you. Annabelle, can't you see the glaring implication of what he's doing? Can't you see? Now, take off those things and return them to her. Get out! Get out!
What is it? You don't like the dresses? Okay, fine. See what I'll do. I'll open up the bag so you take whichever one you like. Okay? What are you still discussing there, you fool? I said you should return those miserable things to her and get inside the house. Mom! Don't you dare call me mother again. You ought to be used to mommy's ways by now. But why does mommy hate me so much? Mommy doesn't hate you, please. Let's go inside. Yes, 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 yeah. I want those big, the big ones, rings, necklaces, and, um, and bangles, yes. Let me call you back, please. Yeah, bye -bye. The children are complaining that you forced Annabelle to return everything that Irene, her sister, gave her. Yes. Because they are Irene's and not Annabelle's. Oh. This is your new strategy. Having succeeded in turning Annabelle into a failure, now you want to turn her against her sister. <laughs> Cooking pot calling kettle black. Mm. Between you and I now, who is turning them against each other? How do you mean? Uh, fathers who want their children to live in peace and harmony. To not go shopping for one child and excluding the other. You're just laying the surest foundation to rivalry. Amelia, how do you always turn whatever it is I am doing to encourage my children into something evil? Amelia, I beg you in the name of God, stop all this nonsense before it gets out of hand. And I beg you in the name of God, love Annabelle like your biological daughter. She deserves it. Oh, it was wonderful. Oh, thank God. So good to have you back. Oh, it's nice to be home. <laughs> Where are the children? Hi, the angel. Oh. Ah, my angel. <laughs> oh. You're welcome. Mommy. Oh, sweet, Daddy. Yes? Mm. 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 You what is this? Oh my God, Daddy, thank God you are around. You will need to see what Irene is doing in her room. What? What did you see? But I, I was reading upstairs when I heard your car driving, so I just came down to welcome you. Who asked you? Eh? Annabelle, what did you see? Mommy, I went into Irene's room just to borrow a pen from her. Mommy, I cannot say what I saw. It is so terrible. Daddy, Irene is watching a movie full of naked people in it. Totally naked, no dress on. What? Jesus, Annabelle. A pornographic movie in my house? Irene! Daddy, I swear to God, I swear, I don't know what she's talking about. I, I have no idea whatsoever. I, Annabelle, Irene, I, 
that there's no need to argue about this thing. The movie is still playing in her room. She reduced it to the lowest volume so nobody will hear or suspect what she was doing. Huh? Yes! Let's go. Let's go. Irene, go, 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 go. I hope this is not a joke. Oh, I hope it is not true. Daddy, I... Come! I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about... Annabelle, you said the film was still playing when you left the room. Where is it? Daddy, it was playing when I left. No, shut up! Look, the television screen is blank. Even the VCD is empty. Now tell me, where is this pornographic film you were talking about? Adam, who's lying? Annabelle. Why would you tell such a terrible lie against me? When all I have been doing today is stay in this room and teach you for your forthcoming exams. Is this how you want to pay me back? What is going on here? Apologize to your sister. Chief, leave her alone. You know I won't do about things like this. Daddy, please. Annabelle does not owe me any apology. If there is anything you serve, you owe him and yourself an apology. And not me. Everything like you instructed me to. I swear to God, that city was playing in Sister Irene's room before I left. I left for downstairs to call you and Daddy. So why was it not there when the whole family got there? Because I took it away when she left the room. David, what? Mom, how could you expose us to such an ugly movie just to hurt Irene? What had she done? What really is our offense? Did you? Did you show your father? Mom, I will. If such repeats itself in this house. Annabelle, emulation is better than envy. That's daddy's advice. Get it. The fool was eavesdropping. Get up, get up, get up. Everything is under control. I'll take care of everything. I'll do it. Hello. Come on, world office. How are you? Why didn't Irene Marshall attend the written interview? What are you talking about? We didn't receive any such letter last week. My secretary signed for and collected? Oh my God. Please, is there anything we can do? Like, can you give her another date next week to make up for today? I see. Thank you.
Tell her, come to my office immediately. So you called me? Stella, you have been working for me for five years. Have I ever wronged you? Has my daughter ever wronged you? So I, I don't understand, sir. You don't understand. The Commonwealth Office sent a letter to Irene through this office. You signed for and collected it. You didn't deliver it to my house, neither did you mention it to me. Now Irene has lost that scholarship because of you. Now you tell me! Why should I spare you? Oh my God. So I took this letter to your house that same day. What are you talking about? Yes, sir. I, I took it there and that was the same day you traveled to Kano for a conference. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I personally gave it to Annabelle. And she told me that Irene went to the salon to make her hair when I got there. a letter for Irene from my secretary last week? Letter? Oh, yes, I did. Why didn't you give it to her? I, um, I forgot. Annabelle. Annabelle. You forgot. Annabelle, you forgot. My life. Mom, did you hear that? Y your life. Annabelle. Did you, did you hear that? Where did you put it that you forgot for eight days? Maybe she didn't even know how important the letter was. Oh, shut up! I, I, I left it in my room, Daddy. Now you will show me where you kept it in your room that you forgot. Come and show me! Come and show me! Come and show me! Come and show me! Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. 
Thank you, Doctor. If anything happens to Irene, send you to Canada to study in any university of your choice. Yes. Yes. No. If I can't get my scholarship, then I'll remain here and complete my studies. Look, I don't want anything to harm your future. You deserve the best and you must have it. Dad, having you as a father is the best thing that has ever happened to me and I am glad I have you Daddy. Annabelle did this to me out of jealousy jealousy of the fact that Irene was meant to travel abroad to complete her studies I will sacrifice anything everything to make mom and Annabelle love me so for this reason, I'll remain here and complete my studies. Irene. Daddy, please, if you love me, please respect my wish on this. Please. Of course. Why you woke me up at 2 a.m.? You need spiritual deliverance. I don't like this. I do not like this. busy in the office now. He wouldn't like to be disturbed. Busy with what? Um, he's going through some document with his executive director. With who? He's executive director now. 
Excuse me. Any problem? Uh, no, Dad. Everything is clear. Good. Now, why don't you take this to your office, sign all your columns and bring them back to me so I can sign mine and forward them to the Honorable Minister. Uh, Dad, I'll do just that. Daddy, Mom is here. Hello, Chief. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mom. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Chief, Stella just told me that you were with the Executive... The executive Director, yes, on official matters. You never told me you had such a person in this company. So, where is he? Right beside you. Irene? You made Irene the executive director of this company and you never told me? You are disturbing her concentration, my dear. Really? I'm disturbing her concentration? Okay. And you, don't keep me waiting. Good. Chief, you better sit down and let us talk about this. There is nothing to talk about. I've taken my decision. You cannot do that. I have done it. And it will be over my dead body that I will let it stand. And so be it. Mommy, what's happening here? Thank God both of you are here. Your father has made Irene the executive director of his company. He has given her everything excluding both of you. <laughs> that's, that's impossible. Oh, ho! I mean, Daddy, we are also your children. Before any important decision should be taken, at least you should inform us. I was informed. You were what? What? You mean you knew and you agreed to such a thing? Mom, I am dad's only son and so heir. Whoever he chooses to give part of his life's wealth is his decision to make. Oh, shut up, David, shut up! So I see nothing wrong with what he has done. Besides, the company is 100% his anyway. It is not so again, you moron! I checked with the Corporate Affairs Commission this afternoon and I found out that your father has given 40% share capital of his company to Irene, giving the 60% remaining for himself. Your father has disinherited the three of us. It seems I didn't explain myself very well. The remaining 60% here belongs to me. Daddy and I agreed that once I graduate from the university, his life will be sworn back to me. Then, then what, what becomes of me then? And what became of Irene's Commonwealth Scholarship because of you? Daddy, I, I apologize for that. I told you it was a sincere mistake. Daddy, please, you can't do this to me. You're still asking why, when the reason is so glaring today. Annabelle, this is just the beginning. Irene had planned this all out from the beginning. And you were so naive to believe me all along. That's because of what we did to 
Irene's scholarship. That's a cheap lie, my dear. <laughs> Mom, why is why is Irene succeeding very fast with a very intelligent man like that? Well, because she has made him believe that she is the saint and you are the devil of this family. I can't even believe that my own twin brother, David, would even join them. And I believe that is because he too was deceived. And you don't want to team up with me to stop them. Mom, the first time I teamed up with you against Irene, David caught us and I looked like a very crazy fool. The second time, Irene almost got killed. And what did I gain from it other than regrets and tears? What do you think I did this anymore? I don't think so. Annabelle, you are fighting for your right in your own father's house. And do not think you're going to win on a platter of gold. You were so smart the other time not to let your father know that. Both of us were into that scholarship thing together. But my dear, you are going to be smarter from henceforth in doing whatever I ask you to do. And the last laugh will be yours. such a large sum to the house without my expressed permission. Daddy, I'm sorry. But by the time the money was brought to the office, it was already past banking hours. And you had already gone to your scheduled meeting at the government house. I did not know what else to do. I called mommy and she advised me to bring the money home. The fool. The bloody fool. She gave you such a stupid idea. How? Oh. Two hundred thousand dollars gone, just like that. <sighs> Daddy, please. I'm sorry, okay? It's my fault. It's not your fault, not anyone else. I don't want you to go blaming no, any no, of them. No, 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 no. It's not your fault. Well, actually, I suppose it's nobody's fault. Robberies are taking place every day. Anyway, I have reported the case to the police. Undoubtedly, they will interview you. Just tell them what you have told me, and then forget about it. Oh my God. Why me, Daddy? Why? I told you, it's not your fault. Oh, come on. All right, get up. Just get up and go and get your daddy a glass of orange to drink. Come on. I'm so sorry. That's all right, that's all right. Just get you I told you. Come on, go on, get me a glass of orange. And get one for yourself.
Yeah. Somebody bought this bag and this letter for Irene, but she's not here back. This is my bag? Yes. Yes. Dear Irene, since you brought this money to me, I have had everything but peace of mind. I understand that you did it to help me out of the hardship my encounter with Froster last month put me and because of the true love that we share. I have asked you several times over and over again on how you came about such huge amount of money without getting a good answer. This afternoon, I got to know through a newspaper article and I flinched in this course. How could you arrange with criminals to steal your father's $200,000. Please, I won't have anything to do with such money. I lost my money to Frosters, not my conscience. Please, don't ever come near me again. I can love any other person but you. You don't deserve my love. Goodbye, Richie. Oh my God. Irene is a devil. That girl is a devil. <sighs> Call her. Call her. Call her and ask her to get back here immediately. ask you to come and cry for me. You must explain this evil. Daddy, I know that this is not the time for me to cry. This is the time for me to look my dad in the face and tell him the whole truth. The truth of the matter is that this, this whole thing, this whole thing is just one malicious set of daddy. Oh, Irene, take my motherly advice. Tell your father the truth. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> daddy, daddy, you know me. You know me. I know you know me well enough to know the things I can do and the things that I can never do. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not since I read that letter. Hey, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> God, what am I going to do to prove my innocence? You are not innocent. <laughs> Now take me to that animal who got you into this mess. Daddy, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I, I swear. I don't know, Daddy. I'm telling the truth. Mommy, help me back, Daddy. I don't know anything about this. Please. I will not lie to you. I don't have any idea. I don't know what is going on. Irene, then get out. Get out of my sight. <laughs> get out now. I'll never let me see your face until you are prepared to bring that evil man. <laughs> I know nothing about this. Someone is trying to tarnish my innocent name. I, I am dying inside. It's okay. Stop crying. How? Please. David, how can I stop crying? 
how can I stop crying when my own father now calls me a criminal over something I know nothing about? Oh, nobody believes me. I don't believe you. I do. I do. You, David, you believe me. See, I don't know how this thing happened, but I believe you're innocent. David, thank you. David, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. David. Now, get out of here and don't ever come back. Don't ever come back! Until Irene does what I asked her to do. Not you or Annabelle should come anywhere near her. You hear me? I said, do you hear me? Can you that? Now get out. I need an exit card. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, your sister told me your father is ill. Hi. That kind man. He gives me money each time he comes around the school premises. Please, my regards to him. Um, you mean my sister told you? Yes. She leaves the school gate every day for the past two weeks to see your father in the hospital. Had she gone for today? Yes, she left not too long ago. Please, uncle, do me a favor. When next she's leaving, I would like to know because I want to go with her. Yes. No problem. All right. No Thank You all right? Dad, I tricked Annabelle to a hotel with a man. You must come with me now, please. You tricked Annabelle to a hotel with a man? Yes, Dad. Are you sure? Yes, Dad. Dad, let's go, please. All right. Okay. Boy, you want me to test it? No. Sweet. Chai. Drag it. You sure? Yeah. You will like it. Slowly. 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 Jesus Christ. 
snart vi tatt over. Hallo. Det er ikke ikke må. Hallo. Hva er det du får få? Det shielding you from your mother's evil influence. My dear. Yes, Dad. Will you ever forgive me? I promise you I shall never doubt you again. You are both my pride. And I shall always, always bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I still can't believe it. Dad. I still don't understand. Did you mean those men actually confessed that it was mom who hired them to set me up oh, yes <laughs> and i instructed the police to thoroughly investigate and prosecute it dad won't that be shooting yourself in the leg what do you mean i mean i'm i'm supposed to be happy today but i'm not big sister you have every right to jubilate today not with those men still in the police cell. Our family members are involved in all of this, whatever way you want to look at it. There is no way the police will properly investigate this issue without creating a dirty scandal which will do us more harm than good. Is it worth it? I have been vindicated. Dad has gotten his money back, which I think is... It's the most important thing. We cannot afford to allow the public into this shameful charade. What do you think, David? That I think she's right. Have you apologized to Irene, Emily? On your behalf? You are impossible. If I were you, I would not be here bemoaning my fate. I would be thinking of how possible it is for me to restore peace in my family. The peace in my family vanished the day you stepped your foot in it. Oh no. The peace in your family died the day you took the decision to love Irene more than my own children. If you want this to stop, return that car to Annabelle. Amelia, you are making a very, very 
awful mistake in Annabelle. The car is not the solution. And I'll prove you wrong. Here. Here's the key. That is not all. The only thing left is for you to go and confess to the Almighty God. Because you have pushed your daughter into the shameful act we caught her in today. Oh, what a shame. What's a shame that it is a, a, a criminal, a criminal who took the innocence of your only daughter. And this criminal she met through you. Excuse me? I said, please move. I said earlier, David, everything I have done in this house, I have done for you and Annabelle. I'm telling you this now because I know that you have gotten to the age of reasoning. Annabelle is your biological sister. And Irene is... is my biological enemy. Your stepsister. Listen to me, son. Irene's mother boasted to me before she died that all your father's assets will be inherited by Irene. She even made her swear by her deathbed that it is going to be so. How is that possible, mom? You told me Irene was barely three years old when her mother got involved in a car accident. And dad said she never returned from coma until her death. Well, well David, have you for once given a thought to how your father treats issues in this house? Especially the company share. So my son, please, stop opposing my joining forces with Annabelle to make this... To commit more crime to an innocent girl, mom. David! Mom! I win is my sister, not my enemy. By being close to her, I don't think I'm as foolish as you think I am. I'm just emulating an exemplary sister. Mom, excuse me. I came back to second day ahead of you. They wanted to take me out. <laughs> you know, I went to one restaurant like that. The guy doesn't know how to use cutlery. Can you imagine? <laughs> Seriously. What is I'm telling you. I don't know of these boys now. 
they don't have anything. Probably some of them are just like very middle class, but they always act as if. Stop that rubbish! Do you think you're still kids? <laughs> Daddy. Oh, wait. shut up! I don't. Get the girl back with your room. I am no longer comfortable with the closeness of Irene and David. Not that I have discovered anything um, ugly since we've been watching them for the last three weeks. <sighs> what, 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 what do you think? Well, um, I suggest we separate them. How? Honey. Your younger brother and his family live in the U.S. Yes. Send David to them. Let him stay there till he graduates from the university. That way he would come back home a more matured man and in total control of his emotions. <sighs> David is my only son. And I, I don't like the idea of him being out of reach in his formative years. So, do you like what you have seen so far? So, you have to come to bed. Well, I have called all of you here to inform you that um, David will be leaving us very soon. Leaving you? I, I don't understand that. I have decided to send you to the United States of America to further your studies. Wow, that would be fantastic. Uh -uh, look at you, Yankee boy. Come on, give me a hug. Mm. What's now, now? Big Six, please. Dad, I don't want to go. David, don't tell me you're rejecting such a good prospect. I'm rejecting it, Mom. Annabelle has always wished to study overseas. Let her go. I don't want to be separated from you people. It's for your own good, David. Yes, David. It's for your own good. Just think about the quality of education you'll be getting there. Hmm? You will go. It is Professor fun. Irene. We are sending him a way to shield him from corrupt influence. David, you will go. You don't know how happy I am that dad is doing this for you. I know you'll miss us. We'll miss you too, darling. But this you must do. It's yeah. for your future. Daddy. Okay? Daddy. Please let me go with him. So at least he won't feel homesick. You know that he's my twin brother and we are inseparable, right? He Don't even think about it. You are going nowhere. David. Come. Come. Let you and I go and have a little chat. <laughs> Yankee boy. 
Why does dad hate me so much? What have I done to deserve all the punishment he gives to me? And he's favoring my siblings without me. What have I done? The other day he was hiring being the executive director of his company. Today it is David traveling out of the country to study Annabelle. and- Annabelle. David is going away because of Irene. Mom. I engineered everything to favor you. Mama, are you joking? I am not joking. Experience has shown that if David remains here, we will never get at Irene. Trust me, your mother is in control here. Mom, are you sure that your plans are going to work? I need you to make it work. My dearest Annabel, your father is a fulfilled man today. Oh, I'm so proud of you for passing your exams and gaining admission to the university. Now, if you continue like this, in five years time you will become a lawyer. And as I did to your sister, Irene, when she was going to university, this car is yours. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you bought me a car? I didn't uh, think it. <laughs> and if you continue like this, there's more to come. Oh, thank you, Thank you so much, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so Congrats. much. Oh. And the merriment continues inside. <laughs> no, you guys can go in, you guys can go in. We'll leave you with the car. Oh! Thank you. You know, get I. If you know it's in the outside, then you know it's not I you, Maxi. A1, A1. I don't like this person. I don't like this person. How you take happy? Oh, what's the sex? My head? Come on, Dale. Now you go cause accident. Tell him you look me well. Show him, show him. Maxi, do you? You didn't see us. You didn't see us at all. Then look us. You didn't see us at all. Oh boy. Come talk sexy. Just take a look at this thing. Hi, Irene. Oh boy. Annabelle, sorry. Uh, where where are you going to? Lectures, of course. Lectures. Mm -hmm. Just like this? Just like what, Irene? What is wrong with what I'm wearing? Jesus Christ. 
Annabelle, sorry, but have you ever sat down to consider how the people back home would feel if they know the way you dress to school and the kind of things you girls do on campus? Oh, Jesus, yesterday, Annabelle, you guys came back past midnight, dead drunk. And it's not as if it just happened for the first time. Come on! Don't you girls have any sense of decency? Come, 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 Irene. Stop that rubbish. Who do you think you are, by the way? Of course, our mother. Obviously, that's what she wants to be. Wake up, girl. Wake up! We're grown-ups! Look, come, come think about it. Am I worse than other girls out there on campus? <laughs> that's the point. You are not just any girl on campus. Annabelle, you are a daughter of a highly respected man in this country. And you, Molly. You are a princess for Christ's sake. That requires some little sense of decency. Oh my God. Molly, I do not have time for idle talks this morning. So I'm gone. I beg you, Annabelle, please. But in the name of God Almighty, please, my sister, I beg of you. Please, go inside and change. At least the shorts, you know? And I beg you to, Irene, in the name of the Almighty God, leave me alone. Leave us alone. I'm going home. Thank you. Bye bye. It's going to be nice to see ya. Wow. Oh, welcome. Hey, um, where are you going to? I'm off to Molly's crib to spend the weekend. On a Tuesday? Well, it doesn't matter. Wait, you are traveling and you're just telling me? What if I did not come back? Well, you're back and now you know. So, so, so what? Molly. Why, why have you suddenly become so hostile to me? Do not forget, you used to be my friend even before you came into the school. Yeah, because I never knew how a cake your views are until now. Your friend has found another friend in Annabelle, your sister. Look, I don't care. I really am not interested in whoever you decide to have as a friend. It's entirely your decision and not mine. It's just that, Molly, in case you have forgotten, we're actually going on a trip, and I haven't. Well, sweetheart, see you when we come back. Darling. Darling. Make her comfortable. You've got no problems. <laughs> I'll see you in a jiffy. <laughs> oh, Did you say to me that this guy is a student or a business icon? <laughs> student, why do you ask? Ever since I walked through that door, I've been mentally calculating the worth of this house. Check out the problem. This guy must have spent a fortune on it. And what does he get his money for? Come on. Timian is the son of a prominent senator. I thought I told you. Oh. Really? Wait, 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 wait. So you have this kind of man in your life and you still let those riffraffs on campus insult you and use you? I love adventure. You're crazy. I swear to God, you are crazy. So how did you meet him? <laughs> <laughs> Started again. You. <laughs> you know, my father was a prominent politician before he became the Igwe. His father is my father's very close friend. Pip, you need someone like him. Seriously, you do. You can say that again, Molly. Having my own Damien in my life is an ambition for me. I swear to God. Jesus Christ. 
posso dar algum destino? E que eu, e que eu, e que eu, vai para ele, mas se eu... Lucas, estou cá, está aqui no seu cidade, aqui sim, senhor. Há nada em dúvida, está a fechar. Lucas, veja. Eu nunca sei o que eu disse na minha vida antes. Is there a possibility that I can get my own Damien to hook up with by the weekend? <laughs> well, his best friend is the son of the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs. Huh? He will be here very soon. Girlfriend, I need that dude. That's what I go. I, I want him. I want him. I will switch up my phone. For that, he just keeps That's all for me. Annabelle, yeah. are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Come check out my bar, babes. <laughs> Come, baby. Come, baby. Is there a problem? Mm, yes. Please sit down. Thank you. Mm, I came to inform them that there is an urgent assignment that will be submitted first thing tomorrow morning. So, I've been trying their number for the past two hours without sources. My God, that's not possible. Can I have the assignment topic, please? Oh, mm, sure. Sure. Okay. That's it. I will try to reach them. Okay. Thanks very much, okay? Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Take care. All right. Thank Bye. you. What about Molly and uh, Annabelle? Is everything okay? <laughs> yes, yes, everything is fine. See that, see that. Thank you. Let's have something to oh, okay. Okay. No, no, your highness. That would be necessary. You see, I just came by the public library to pick a few books. So I decided to stop by and say hello. Really? <laughs> yes, I have to. Okay. What about your highness? Oh, he's in a cabinet meeting. I see. Um, thank you very much, ma'am, but I'll have to be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Look at you. You know what, guys? I never really knew I could actually have so much fun in just one day. You guys are the bomb! God! <laughs> Damien here. Kevin. Terrible combination. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I say that again? <laughs> I told you. There's never a dull moment to be done, baby. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I swear to God, it's never a dull moment. <laughs> okay. Molly, you can go home with Damien in my car. That's a lot I'm giving to you. Because <laughs> I'll be going home here with Kelvin. <laughs> Let me teach him some lesson. He's never been taught before. <laughs> oh, you go, girl. That's fun. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Have fun! Enjoy, enjoy. Wow, you look 
Come on, Irene. It is too early for you to start making that face at me. I mean, if I just came back, you should tell me welcome or something. Where are you coming from, Annabelle? Oh. Irene, when I was leaving this house, you asked me that question. And I told you I was going to Monday School to spend the weekend. You have grown to become such a cheap liar. I was at Molly's place and you were not there. You were what? A cosmate of yours brought an assignment. Your phones were not going through. I had no other option. I had to bring it over to your house. My God. Did you tell them anything? I am not a cheap gossip. You made me tell a lie to cover up your irresponsibilities. And that would be for the very last time. <sighs> Thank you very much. God bless you. <sighs> Thank you so much, Bessie. <sighs> I never knew you were so intelligent. Thanks. Annabelle, that assignment has been submitted. Tell me, what are you going to do about it? Annabelle, where were you over the weekend? Oh, that. I went over to see my parents. Annabelle, you traveled home. You traveled home. I mean, is it a crime that I travel now? I mean, can I go to my parents once in a while? What is this? Annabelle, for God's sake, you were aware we had a date for the weekend. Annabelle, you traveled without even telling me. You switched off your phone, making it difficult to reach you. Yeah. And then you made me look so foolish moving around the whole campus looking for you. And here you are showing no remorse for it. And then what is happening? What is happening is that I'm living my life, Stephen. Get used to it. Oh, living your life without considering my own feelings? And then do you still remember I am your boyfriend? Oh, yes. I remember I'm your girlfriend. But while I agreed to become your girlfriend, I never agreed to sign any form that says that you're going to monitor me 247 around campus. I don't need that. Okay? Look, this should be the first and the last time that you come to me in such an insulting manner. I wouldn't take it from you. Annabelle, you are sick in the head. Oh, yes, I am sick. sick. I am sick and I'm tired of your bullshit. I'm tired of you being in my life. So take a walk. It is over. Jesus Christ. Annabelle. Annabelle. Irene, you were here. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Irene, you witnessed this. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go in and talk to her. Maybe she'll just leave. All right, I'm so sorry, please. Look, I'm sorry, Steve. Annabelle! Annabelle! Annabelle. Yeah. Can I talk to you? Sure. <sighs> Annabelle. Yeah. Steve came to me complaining. He said he's been trying to talk to you on two different occasions. But you wouldn't hear him out. What really is the problem? Nothing. Just worked out a relationship, that's it. 
Just like that? Yeah. Irene. Steve is a very boring person. And the only reason I managed to hang around him for this few months is because I did not have any alternative. But now I do. And that's why I dumped his ass. What? Annabelle, no. Don't tell me. You're in another relationship already? Yes, I am. His name is Kelvin. He is a very wonderful person. And moreover, he is the son of the Minister of Internal Affairs. I mean, the only thing I look forward in a man is his money. And Kelvin, he has it. And he knows how to spend it, too. <laughs> Annabelle. Okay, fine. Since this is your basis for comparison, Steve is the son of Nigeria's ambassador to Germany. A diplomat son for crying out loud. He is also very well to do. For Christ's sake, Annabelle. If I were you, I'd rather be in a relationship with someone I've known over time than jump into a relationship with someone you barely even know. Well, that's why we're different. That's why you're named Irene and I, Annabelle. We'd never think alike. We could never think. We could never, never even be alike. Okay? Hello. Yes, baby. Oh, your darling is fine, all right. <laughs> You're so crazy. It's just been barely two days I left your house and you are missing me already. Oh, that's so sweet. When? Tomorrow. Um, okay. That's the date. And you can have it any way you want, darling. Yes. <laughs> okay, the second one will be in the bathroom. I promise you. I promise you. Okay, but on one condition. Yeah. Okay. This is dress I want. It's lovely. It's beautiful. But it's, it's very expensive though. And it's been worn by only one person. Posh. And I want the next person to be me. Are you serious? Oh, okay, 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 fine. Okay, then you ha can have it. You can you can have me for a whole week if you want to, Mister. All right, darling. Okay. Same here. See you soon. Okay. Annabelle, oh, no. if that guy you just got off the phone with is the new guy, then my dear sister. I am so sorry for you because I'm sure you're making a tragic mistake. You would not understand. I don't even expect you to. the reason I brought you here. Look at the kind of company Annabelle is keeping now. I know those boys. Very bad boys. I can't imagine what she's doing to herself. It hurts me. Whenever I see her doing this, it hurts me. Steve. You want my advice? Yes. Advise me. Forget her. Yes, look. I know I shouldn't be saying this, but for your sake, for the sake of your emotional health and for the sake of your studies, you don't have a choice. I mean, this is difficult. It's going to be very difficult for me. We've come a long way. We've come a long way. Look, I understand, but it's not your fault. You've tried. Just move on with your life. It's not worth it. Let's go, let's get out of here. Yes, 
coming. Hi. Hi, Irene. Hi. Wow. Irene. Fine, thank you. I did not expect to see you here after what happened oh, last time. Your friends got my what happened. That's good to know. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. It really helped me. Ah. You know. Well, we thank God. Yeah. Sit down, sit down, please. All right. Yeah. Mm. Meet my friend Edward. Edward is a second year medical student at University of Port Harcourt. Edward, Irene Marshall, Annabelle's elder sister, second year student economics. Oh, my pleasure meeting you, Irene. Same here. You're welcome. We both are here to attend the conference of the national medical students in your school. Oh, I'm sure you guys are going to have so much fun in my school. Uh -huh. Talking about fun, we are bored already. We are bored already, so we're here to take you out to have fun. Wow, that means it's in the air because I am so bored. You can't believe I've been in this house all by myself. My sister traveled, you know. So I'm just going to change into something so we can go somewhere. Please let us go. Okay. Thank you. Give me a minute. Thank you. Wow. Edmund seems a perfect gentleman. But you know now, now as the saying goes, the most deceptive creature is the human being. And you know now, I'm a novice in this relationship thing. So I'm just... What do you think? <laughs> oh, Irene. I'm happy that you want to become a real woman now, in this world. But believe me, girl, you do not need such a dry man in your life. God, what do you want to do with him? <laughs> dry? Why would you call him dry? You don't know anything about him. <sighs> Look, he can't be any better than Steven. Now you want to start life, you need a guy that can give you every detail of your relationship and so you can enjoy it. You know what? Why don't you just leave me to that? Let me introduce you to the man who's going to give you that. <laughs> Annabelle, what I need in my life is true love. Oh. Another kind of wild animal fun you and Kelvin do. Irene, just because I'm trying to help you out here in a subject of life that you know nothing about, that you're supposed to be teaching me, doesn't mean that you should insult me. I won't take it from you. I won't at all. So can't I pull a joke at you now? No. <laughs> Wait, are you sure this thing you smoke does not do something to your brains sometimes? Maybe you should try a little. Oh, please. Oh. Annabelle, no. All what right, feel it. Oh. Oh. May God help you. Amen. Try it now. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Annabelle. What is it? Annabelle. What happened to you? Just look at my sister. Jesus. What happened to you, Annabelle? 
just calm down, okay? As, as you can see, she doesn't need this now. Let her just feel better before she can now talk to you, okay? Just talk to me. Who did this? Oh, to okay, you? okay, okay. Just, just go ahead with Eddie. I'll take care of her. No, don't worry. I'll be here. Annabelle, I will. Don't worry. Just go. I'll be fine. Go. Come on, girl. You cannot force words out of her mouth. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Just tell me, how did it happen? What did I do wrong? Nothing. Now I'm going to pay my, my boyfriend a surprise visit. I went there, I saw him with a female company. I did not even order him all this guy to let me in front of the girl. Okay, fine. Come on, talk to me outside now. No. I mean, why could you even say my word? This boy called me. This boy is my wrist, oh my God. You mean Kelvin did this to you? Just to hush up before another girl. He's a beast. Look at you, Tom. Let me see you. Just look at you. Oh, oh, that one is not even my problem right now. My problem is how am I going to hide this thing from my sister and my parents? Annabelle, you want to lie to them? Molly, I can't stand the shame. Oh. I can't stand the shame at all. Uh, my boyfriend that I've been talking about so I am mighty in front of them. I will not tell them that he beats me. I God. To my face, what is what is to my face? Oh God. I know how party is tomorrow. What I want to put my face after which kind of one I mean to Irene, I'm very sorry that I couldn't talk to you earlier when you asked me what happened to me. I just didn't want to scare you. I was trying to protect you. If I told you that I was attacked by robbers, wouldn't you really get scared? What? Wait, you mean armed robbers attacked you and beat you up like this and didn't take anything from you? I'm telling you. That is crazy. They had guns on them. Annabelle, what do you mean at gunpoint you refused to give the car keys to, to armed robbers? Annabelle, is that car supposed to be more important than your life? Irene. I couldn't just sit down and watch some local village touts with locally made peace to come and threaten me and take away my car. I couldn't. I had to do something. That was a silly, silly risk you took. Jesus. Have you seen a doctor? Not yet, but I'll see one tomorrow. Look, you have to. This world is a very wicked world, you know. It got down on your tomboyish attitude. <laughs> Yeah. Can you get in a fight with, with arm robbers? Jesus. Mm. Have you had something to eat? Ah, sorry. I can't chew. I can't. Yeah, you just left, didn't you see him? No, I didn't. Uh, oh. I'll just call him. I'll give him a call. That's alright. Did he leave any message for me? Mm, no, he didn't. Yeah, I mean, he came in a navy blue Tuareg. Was that his car? Of course it is. Mm. Man, does he have that much money to buy Tuareg? He's still in university. <laughs> Annabelle, yeah. I am tired. I need to get some rest and take a shower. Um, Annabelle, do you have any more lectures? Yeah, just one, but I don't think I'll be able to go for it. Okay, um, Eddie and I are going for lunch. I was wondering if you could come with us. Yeah, why don't you join us? 
Oh, I'd love to, but my girls are waiting over there in my car. I, I need to join them. Hmm. You promised it last time. Okay, I promise again. The next time, I would roll with you guys, okay? You know you have to get back home on time today. Yesterday, you stayed out too late. Good. How dare you write me such rubbish letter, Annabelle? Kelvin, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean any insults. The letter I wrote to you was just to apologize for whatever happened the other day, and I'm really sorry. It was from the depth of my heart. Please, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Upon all the beating and warning that I gave to you that day, you still have the guts to write me, Annabelle? Do you know my girl saw the letter? And because of an animal like you, I lost the president's daughter that I've debted for years. Annabelle, so this is the arm trapper who beat you up. And for you, after such an act of cruelty, you had the effort to show your face around here to harass her. Who is this animal? How dare you call my girl a name before me, you ancient ape? That's a fatal error asshole. You don't call the son of honorable minister of internal affairs names. Oh, did you hear that? I'm scared. But let me tell you something. It's even a bigger mistake to threaten the son of the Chief Justice of the Federation. Now if you will excuse me, get the hell out of here. Get out! You said you should get out! And look, I don't want to see you around my sister again, you tout! Now look at yourself. Now this is supposed to be your boyfriend. I feel so sorry for you. Eddie, let's get out of here. You all right? Dad, I tricked Annabelle to a hotel with a man. You must come with me now, please. You tricked Annabelle to a hotel with a man? Yes, Dad. Are you sure? Yes, Dad. Dad, let's go, please. All right, okay. Bad boy, yes. you want me to taste it? No. Sweet. Try it. Are you sure? Yeah. You will like it. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Shoo! 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 
this is happening. I have never stopped thanking God for shielding you from your mother's evil influence. My dear. Yes, Dad. Will you ever forgive me? I promise you I shall never doubt you again. You are both my pride. And I shall always, always bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I still can't believe it. Dad. I still don't understand. Did you mean those men actually confessed that it was mom who hired them to set me up? Oh, yes. <laughs> and I instructed the police to thoroughly investigate and prosecute it. Dad, won't that be shooting yourself in the leg? What do you mean? I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be happy today, but I'm not. Big sister. You have every right to jubilate today. Not with those men still in the police cell. Our family members are involved in all of this, whatever way you want to look at it. There is no way the police will properly investigate this issue without creating a dirty scandal which will do us more harm than good. Is it worth it? I have been vindicated. Dad has gotten his money back, which I think is, is the most important thing. We cannot afford to allow the public into this shameful charade. What do you think, David? That I think she's right. Have you apologized to Irene, Emilia? On your behalf? You are impossible. If I were you, I would not be here bemoaning my fate. I would be thinking of how possible it is for me to restore peace in my family. The peace in my family vanished the day you stepped your foot in it. Oh no. The peace in your family died the day you took the decision to love Irene more than my own children. If you want this to stop, return that car to Annabelle. Amelia, you are making a very, very awful mistake in Annabelle. The car is not the solution. And I'll prove you wrong. Here. Here's the key. That is not all. The only thing left is for you to go and confess to the Almighty God. Because you have pushed your daughter into the shameful act we caught her in today. Oh, what a shame. What's a shame that it is a, a, a criminal, a criminal who took the innocence of your only daughter. And this criminal she met through you. Please move. Excuse me? 
I said, please move. As I said earlier, David, everything I have done in this house, I have done for you and Annabelle. I'm telling you this now because I know that you have gotten to the age of reasoning. Annabelle is your biological sister. And Irene is... It's my biological enemy. Your stepsister. Listen to me, son. Irene's mother boasted to me before she died that all your father's assets will be inherited by Irene. She even made her swear by her deathbed that it is going to be so. How is that possible, mom? You told me Irene was barely three years old when her mother got involved in a car accident. And dad said she never returned from coma until her death. Well, well David, have you for once given a thought to how your father treats issues in this house? Especially the company share. So my son, please, stop opposing my joining forces with Annabelle to make this... To commit more crime to an innocent girl, mom. David. Mom, I win is my sister, not my enemy. By being close to her, I don't think I'm as foolish as you think I am. I'm just emulating an exemplary sister. Mom, excuse me. Now came back the second day I said, okay, they wanted to take me out. <laughs> you know, went to one restaurant like that. The guy doesn't know how to use cutlery. Can you imagine? <laughs> Seriously. What is the I'm telling you. I don't know these boys now. Yeah. They don't have anything. Probably some of them are just like very middle class, but they always act as if. Stop that rubbish! Do you think you're still kids? <laughs> Daddy. Oh, wait. shut up! I don't get the gun back with your room.
Honey, what is it? My dear, I am no longer comfortable with the closeness of Irene and David. Not that I have discovered anything um, ugly since we've been watching them for the last three weeks. <sighs> what, 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 what do you think? Well, um, I suggest we separate them. How? Honey. Your younger brother and his family live in the U.S. Yes. Send David to them. Let him stay there till he graduates from the university. That way he would come back home a more matured man and in total control of his emotions. <sighs> David is my only son. And I, I don't like the idea of him being out of reach in his formative years. So, do you like what you have seen so far? So you have to come to bed. Well, I have called all of you here to inform you that um, David will be leaving us very soon. Leaving you? I, I don't understand that. I have decided to send you to the United States of America to further your studies. Wow, that would be fantastic. Uh -uh, look at you, Yankee boy. Come on, give me a hug. Mm. What's now now? Big Six, please. Dad, I don't want to go. David, don't tell me you're rejecting such a good prospect. I'm rejecting it, Mom. Annabelle has always wished to study overseas. Let her go. I don't want to be separated from you people. It's for your own good, David. Yes, David. It's for your own good. Just think about the quality of education you'll be getting there. Hmm? You will go. It is Professor fun. Irene. We are sending him a way to shield him from corrupt influence. David, you will go. You don't know how happy I am that dad is doing this for you. I know you'll miss us. We'll miss you too, darling. But this you must do. It's yeah. for your future. Yeah. Okay? Daddy. Please let me go with him. So at least he won't feel homesick. You know that he's my twin brother and we're inseparable, right? Don't even think about it. You are going nowhere. David. Come. Come. Let you and I go and have a little chat. <laughs> Yankee boy. You <laughs> see? Oh, that's good. Excuse me. Why does dad hate me so much? What have I done to deserve all the punishment he gives to me? And he's favoring my siblings without me. What have I done? The other day it was Irene being the executive director of his company. Today it is David traveling out of the country to study I'm and... Annabelle. David is going away because of Irene. Mom. I engineered everything to favor you. Are you joking? I am not joking. Experience has shown that if David remains here, we will never get at Irene. Trust me, your mother is in control here. Mom, are you sure that your plans are going to work? I need you to make it work.
my dearest Annabel. Your father is a fulfilled man today. Oh, I'm so proud of you for passing your exams and gaining admission to the university. Now, if you continue like this, in five years' time, you will become a lawyer. And as I did to your sister, Irene, when she was going to university, this car is yours. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, you bought me a car? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. And if you continue like this, there's more to come. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Oh, my God, Daddy, this is. So beautiful. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god, mommy, thank you so much. Oh. And the merriment continues inside. No, you guys can go in. You guys can go in. We leave you with the car. Oh! Thank you. You know, get I. If you know it's in the outside, you will not see that. I you, Nazi. A1, A1. I don't like this person. I don't like that. How you take her? Oh, what's this sex? My ear? Tomorrow. Eh? Come on, man. You go cause accident. You go cause accident. Tell him you make me well. Show him. Show him. Nazi, do you? You don't see me, baby. You don't see me at all. Then look what's you don't see me at all. Oh boy. Come talk sexy. Just take a look at this thing. Hi, Irene. Oh boy. Anima, sorry. Um, where where are you going to? Lectures, of course. Lectures. Trust like this? Just like what, Irene? What is wrong with what I'm wearing? Jesus Christ. Annabelle, sorry, but have you ever sat down to consider how the people back home would feel if they know the way you dress to school and the kind of things you girls do on campus? Jesus, yesterday, Annabelle, you guys came back past midnight, dead drunk. And it's not as if it just happened for the first time. Come on! Don't you girls have any sense of decency? Come, 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 Irene. Stop that rubbish. Who do you think you are, by the way? Of course, our mother. Obviously, that's what she wants to be. Wake up, girl. Wake up! We're grown ups! Look, come, come think about it. Am I worse than other girls out there on campus? That's the point. You are not just any girl on campus. Annabelle, you are a daughter of a highly respected man in this country. And you, Molly, you are a princess for Christ's sake. That requires some little sense of decency. Oh my God. Molly, I do not have time for idle talks this morning. So I'm gone. I beg you, Annabelle, please. But in the name of God Almighty, please, my sister, I beg of you, please, go inside and change, at least, the shorts, you know? And I beg you to, Irene, in the name of the Almighty God, leave me alone! Leave us alone! I'm going home. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's going to be nice to see ya. Friend, 
ready. Wow. Oh, welcome. Hey, um, where are you going to? I'm off to Molly's crib to spend the weekend. On a Tuesday? Well, does that matter? Wait, you are traveling and you're just telling me. What if I did not come back? Well, you're back and now you know. So, so, so what? Molly, why, why have you suddenly become so hostile to me? Do not forget, you used to be my friend even before you came into the school. Yeah. Because I never knew how a cake your views are until now. Your friend has found another friend in Annabelle, your sister. Look, I don't care. I really am not interested in whoever you decide to have as a friend. It's entirely your decision and not mine. It's just that... Molly, in case you have forgotten, we're actually going on a trip. And I haven't. But I well, sweetheart, see you when we come back. Darling. Darling. Make her comfortable. You've got no problems. <laughs> I'll see you in a jiffy. <laughs> oh, Did you say to me that this guy is a student or a business icon? <laughs> student, why do you ask? Ever since I walked through that door, I've been mentally calculating the worth of this house. Come check out the problem. This guy must have spent a fortune on it. Where does he get his money from? Come on. Timian is the son of a prominent senator. I thought I told you. Oh. Really? Wait, 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 wait. So you have this kind of man in your life and you still let those riffraffs on campus insult you and use you? I love adventure. You're crazy. I swear to God, you are crazy. So how did you meet him? <laughs> I said again, you. <laughs> you know, my father was a prominent politician before he became the Igwe. His father is my father's very close friend. Babe, you need someone like him. Seriously, you do. You can say that again, Molly. Having my own Damien in my life is an ambition for me. I swear <laughs> to God. Jesus Christ, what's going to happen to steal you? If you're picking up your boyfriend, you must steal me. Stop that, Dad. You know, seriously, that, that pisses me off. How am I going to do that selfish? Look, babes, I never seriously like this in my life before. Is there a possibility that I can get my own Damien to hook up with by the weekend? <laughs> well, his best friend is the son of the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs. Huh? He would be here very soon. Girlfriend, I need that dude. I swear to God, I, I want him. I want him. <laughs> no, I, just, I will switch up my phone. For that, he just keeps smiling. That's all for me. What's up, babies? <laughs> Annabelle, yeah. are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come check out my bar, babes. <laughs> Come, baby. Come, baby. Come, baby. <laughs> Yeah, come in. Hi. Hi. My name is Mercy. Is Annabelle in? No, not at the moment. What about Molly? They were not together. <sighs> is there a problem? Mm, yes. Please sit down. Thank you. Mm, I came to inform them that there is an urgent assignment that will be submitted first thing tomorrow morning. So. I've been trying their number for the past two hours without sources. My God, that's not possible. The destination you are trying to book is unreachable. It's not great. Um. Okay. Um. Can I have the assignment topic, please? Oh, mm, sure. It's here. Okay. That's it. I will try to reach them. Okay. 
Thanks very much, okay? Okay. Thank you. Take care. All right. Thank Bye. you. What about Molly and uh, Annabelle? Is everything okay? <laughs> yes, yes, everything is fine. See that, see that. Thank you. Let's have something to say. Oh, okay, okay. Your no, no, your highness. That would be necessary. You see, I just came by the public library to pick a few books. So I decided to stop by and say hello. Really? <laughs> yes, I have to. Okay. What about your highness? Oh, he's in a cabinet meeting. I see. Um, thank you very much, ma'am, but I'll have to be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you, you. you. Right. So ma'am. Bye. Look at you. You know what, guys? I never really knew I could actually have so much fun in just one day. You guys are the bomb! God! <laughs> Damien here. Kevin. Terrible combination. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can't say that again. <laughs> I told you. There's never a dull moment with them, baby. Oops. <laughs> I swear to God, there's never a dull moment. <laughs> okay. Molly, you can go home with Demian in my car. That's a luxury I'm giving to you. Because <laughs> I'll be going home here with Kelvin. Let me teach him some lesson. He's never been taught before. <laughs> oh, you go, girl. Alright, fun. Yes. Oh. Bro, come on, come on, come on. have fun. Enjoy, enjoy. Come on, Irene. It is too early for you to start making a face at me. I mean, if I just came back, you should tell me welcome or something. Where are you coming from, Annabelle? Oh. Irene, when I was leaving this house, you asked me that question. And I told you I was going to Monday Street to spend the weekend. You have grown to become such a cheap liar. I was at Molly's place. And you were not there. You were what? A classmate of yours brought an assignment. Your phones were not going through. I had no other option. I had to bring it over to your house. My God. Did you tell them anything? I am not a cheap gossip. You made me tell a lie to cover up your irresponsibilities. And that would be for the very last time. <sighs> Thank you very much. God bless you. <sighs> Thank you so much, big sister. <sighs> I never knew you were so intelligent. Thanks. Annabelle, that assignment has been submitted. Tell me, what are you going to do about it? Don't worry, we'll fix it. Yeah. We will fix it. Gentlemen, I really don't appreciate it. 
Hi, sweetheart, how are you? Oh, good to see you. What's wrong with you? Why do you look cold? Hi, how are you? You're welcome. Annabelle, where were you over the weekend? Oh, that. I went over to see my parents. Annabelle, you traveled home. You traveled home. I mean, is it a crime that I travel now? I mean, can I go to my parents once in a while? What is this? Annabelle, for God's sake, you were aware we had a date for the weekend. Annabelle, you traveled without even telling me. You switched off your phone, making it difficult to reach you. Yeah. Annabelle, you made me look so foolish moving around the whole campus looking for you. And here you are showing no remorse for it. Annabelle, what is happening? What is happening is that I'm living my life, Stephen. Get used to it. Oh, living your life without considering my own feelings? Annabelle, do you still remember I am your boyfriend? Oh, yes. I remember I'm your girlfriend. But while I agreed to become your girlfriend, I never agreed to sign any form that says that you're going to monitor me 247 around campus. I don't need that. Okay? Look, this should be the first and the last time that you come to me in such an insulting manner. I will take it from you. Annabelle, you are sick in the head. Oh, yes, I am sick. sick. I am sick and I'm tired of your bullshit. I'm tired of you being in my life. So take a walk. It is over. Jesus Christ. Annabelle. Annabelle. Irene, you were here. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Irene, you witnessed this. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go in and talk to her. Maybe she should just leave. All right, I'm so sorry, please. Look, I'm sorry, Steve. came to me complaining. He said he's been trying to talk to you on two different occasions, but you wouldn't hear him out. What really is the problem? Nothing. Just worked out in a relationship, that's it. Just like that? Yeah. <laughs> Irene, Steve is a very boring person. And the only reason I managed to hang around him for this few months is because I did not have any alternative. But now I do. And that's why I dumped his ass. What? Annabelle, no. Don't tell me. You're in another relationship already? Yes, I am. His name is Kelvin. He is a very wonderful person. I'm over. He is the son of a... Minister of Internal Affairs. I mean, the only thing I look forward in a man is his money. And Kelvin, he has it. And he knows how to spend it, too. Hmm. Annabelle. Okay, fine. Since this is your basis for comparison, Steve is the son of Nigeria's ambassador to Germany. A diplomat son for crying out loud. He is also very well to do. For Christ's sake, Annabelle, if I were you, I'd rather be in a relationship with someone I've known over time than jump into a relationship with someone you barely even know. Well, that's why we're different. That's why you're named Irene and I, Annabelle. We'd never think alike. We could never think. We could never, never even be alike. Okay? It's Calvin. Hello. Yes, baby. Oh, your darling is fine, all right. <laughs> You're so crazy. It's just been barely two days I left your house and you are missing me already. Oh, that's so sweet. 
When? Tomorrow. Um, okay. That's a date. And you can have it any way you want, darling. Yes. <laughs> okay, the second one will be in the bathroom. I promise you. I promise you. Okay, but on one condition. Yeah. Okay. This is dress I want. It's lovely. It's beautiful. But it's... It's very expensive, though. And it's been worn by only one person. Posh. And I want the next person to be me. Are you serious? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fine. Okay, then you ha can have it. You can you can have me for a whole week if you want to, Mister. All right, darling. Okay. Same here. See you soon. Okay. Oh no, no. If that guy you just got off the phone with is the new guy, then my dear sister. I am so sorry for you because I'm sure you're making a tragic mistake. He would not understand. I don't even expect you to. the reason I brought you here. Look at the kind of company Annabelle is keeping now. I know those boys. Very bad boys. Can you imagine what she's doing to herself? It hurts me. Whenever I see her doing this, it hurts me. Steve. You want my advice? Yes. Advise me. Forget her. Yes, look. I know I shouldn't be saying this, but for your sake, for the sake of your emotional health and for the sake of your studies, you don't have a choice. Aaron, this is difficult. It's going to be very difficult for me. We've come a long way. We've come a long way. Look, I understand, but it's not your fault. You've tried. Just move on with your life. It's not worth it. Let's go, let's get out of here. Yes, come in. Hi. Hi, Irene. Wow. Um, Fine, thank you. I did not expect to see you here after what happened last time. Good friends. Not minding what happened. That's good to know. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. It really helped me. Ah. It did. Well, we thank God. Yeah. Sit down, sit down, please. All right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, meet my friend Edward. Edward is a second year medical student at the University of Port Harcourt. Edward, Irene Marshall, Annabelle's elder sister. Second year student economics. Oh, my pleasure meeting you, Erin. Same here. You're welcome. We both are here to attend the conference of the National Medical Students in your school. Oh, I'm sure you guys are going to have so much fun in my school. Uh -huh. Talking about fun, we are bored already. We are bored already, so we're here to take you out to have fun. Wow, that means it's in the air because I am so bored. You can't believe I've been in this house all by myself. My sister traveled, you know, so. I'm just going to change into something so we can go somewhere. Please let us go. Okay. Thank you. Give me a minute. Thank you. Wow.
change What's meant to be People may try to interfere In your life But you will be What God says you will be oh, yeah. That's what you'll be You know, Edmund seems a perfect gentleman. But you know now, no as the saying goes, the most deceptive creature is the human being. And you know now, I'm a novice in this relationship thing. So I'm just... What do you think? <laughs> oh, Irene. I'm happy that you want to become a real woman now, in this world. But believe me, girl, you do not need such a dry man in your life. God, what do you want to do with him? <laughs> dry? Why would you call him dry? You don't know anything about him. Look, he can't be any better than Steven. Now you want to start life, you need a guy that can give you every detail of your relationship and so you can enjoy it. You know what? Why don't you just leave me to that? Let me introduce you to the man who's going to give you that. <laughs> Annabelle, what I need in my life is true love. Oh. Another kind of wild animal fun you and Kelvin do. Irene, just because I'm trying to help you out here in a subject of life that you know nothing about, that you're supposed to be teaching me, doesn't mean that you should insult me. I won't take it from you. I won't at all. So can't I pull a joke at you now? No. <laughs> Wait, are you sure this thing you smoke does not do something to your brains sometimes? Maybe you should try it. Oh, please. Oh. Annabelle, no. All what right, feel it. May God help you. Amen. Try it now. Just calm down, okay? As, as you can see, she doesn't need this now. Let her just feel better before she can now talk to you, okay? Just talk to me. Who did this? Oh, to okay, you? okay. Just, just go ahead with Eddie. I'll take care of her. No, don't worry. I'll be here. Annabelle, I will. Don't worry. Just go. I'll be fine. Go. Come on, girl. You cannot force words out of her mouth. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Just tell me, how did it happen? What did I do wrong? Nothing. Now I'm going to pay my, my boyfriend a surprise visit. I went there, I saw him with a female company. I did not even order him all this guy to like me in front of the girl. Okay, fine. Come on, talk to me outside now. No. I mean, why did you say my word? is my God. You mean Kelvin did this to you? Just to hush up before another girl. He's a beast. Look at you, Tom. Let me see you. Just look at you. Oh, oh, that one is not even my problem right now. My problem is that how am I going to hide this thing for my sister and my parents? Annabelle, you want to lie to them? Molly, I can't stand the shame. Oh. I can't stand the shame at all. Uh, my boyfriend that I've been talking about so I am mighty in front of them. I will not tell them that he beats me. I God. To my face, what sorry. is to my face? Oh, I know our party is tomorrow. What I already put my face under Which kind of one I mean? Ah, 
Irene, I'm very sorry that I couldn't talk to you earlier when you asked me what happened to me. I just didn't want to scare you. I was trying to protect you. If I told you that I was attacked by robots, wouldn't you really get scared? What? Wait, you mean armed robbers attacked you and beat you up like this and didn't take anything from you? I'm telling you. That is crazy. They had guns on them. Annabelle, do you mean at gunpoint you refused to give the car keys to, to armed robbers? Annabelle, is that car supposed to be more important than your life? Irene, I couldn't just sit down and watch some local village touts with locally made peace to come and threaten me and take away my car. I couldn't. I had to do something. That was a silly, silly risk you took. Jesus. Have you seen a doctor? Not yet, but I'll see one tomorrow. Look, you have to. Yeah. This world is a very wicked world, you know. It cut down on your tomboyish attitude. <laughs> Can you get in a fight with arm robbers? Jesus. Mm. Have you had something to eat? Ah, oh, sorry. I can't chew. I can't. Yeah, you just left, didn't you see him? No, I didn't. Uh, oh. I'll just call him. I'll give him a call. That's all right. Did he leave any message for me? Mm, no, he didn't. Yeah, I mean, he came in a navy blue Tuareg. Was that his car? <laughs> of course it is. Mm. Man, does he have that much money to buy Tuareg? He's still in university. <laughs> Annabelle, yeah. I am tired. I need to get some rest and take a shower. Um, Annabelle, do you have any more lectures? Yeah, just one, but I don't think I'll be able to go for it. Uh, okay, um, Eddie and I are going for lunch. I was wondering if you could come with us. Yeah, why don't you join us? Oh, I'd love to, but my girls are waiting over there in my car. I, I need to join them. Mm, you promised it last time. Okay, I promise again. The next time, I would roll with you guys, okay? You know you have to get back home on time today. Yesterday, you stayed out too late. Good. How dare you write me such a rubbish letter, Annabelle? Kelvin, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean any insult. The letter I wrote to you was just to apologize for whatever happened the other day, and I'm really sorry. It was from the depth of my heart. Please, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Upon all the beating and warning that I gave to you that day, you still have the guts to write me, Annabelle? Do you know my girl saw the letter? And because of an animal like you, I lost the president's daughter that I've dated for years. Annabelle, so this is the armed robber who beat you up. And for you, after such an act of cruelty, you had the effrontery to show your face around here to harass her. Who is this animal? How dare you call my girl a name before me, you ancient ape? That's a fatal error, asshole. You don't call the son of Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs names. Oh, did you hear that? I'm scared. But let me tell you something. It's even a bigger mistake to threaten the son of the Chief Justice of the Federation. Now if you will excuse me, get the hell out of here. Get out! He said you should get out. And look, I don't want to see you around my sister again. You tout. Annabelle, look 
at yourself. Now, this is supposed to be your boyfriend. I feel so sorry for you. Eddie, let's get out of here. you'll be 